stopped for some reason, but so my last video I promised I would try and start this thing. So this is what my dad calls his bad boy. It is a 1999 steel. Uh, the numbers have kind of faded off, but it's a steel 088 Magnum. Same as the MS880. This is the newer version. It has the elastic start handle and a decompression valve because this thing has a 122 cc engine. Man, that's, uh, how many horsepower is that? That's gonna be at least four horsepower. Maybe at least three or four horsepower, but, all right, let's see if, okay, this all is so big and heavy. We're gonna see if I can start it. So it has, so it has gas on the bar oil. And so I have the decompression valve on because I am kind of weak. I will do that. But all right, let's see what happens. Ooh. This thing used to give us a lot of trouble because we rarely ever use this thing. We don't use it too much. But let's do the next one. All right, another another kind of hard starting machine. Uh, this is a steel HS81, HS81T. Uh, this came from my dad's work. Uh, he retired it, retired it because our hedge trimmer broke. But, <clears throat> but this one is a 23cc, and it was built 10/13, October 2013. So we're gonna try this one. So on, choke it. I replaced the primer in this thing. Yeah, you can see. I replaced the primer because the old primer was very slow, but let's see how this one does. Let's see how this one does. This one takes a lot of pulling to get it going. Ooh, how about that? do some leaf blowers so these are all gonna start easy because all four of these blowers have been run over the winter so they weren't really put away uh, 
As a matter of fact, I actually started all this stuff yesterday. I just wanted to film it for y'all today. Because I forgot to film it yesterday. But anyway, this is a 2020 steel SH56C. And this one's an SH because it has the blade on there for shredding leaves. And the two in the bag are right there. It. So let's start this one. So the kill switch is automatically on all the time. Semi automatic choke. Let's prime this one. Alright. If you're on my makeshift tripod, I'll do that. Now this one, because it says C, that means it's easy to start. So just to show you how easy it is to start. Perfect for like, for like, uh, someone who's not as strong but wants a gas leak blower. All of these blowers are that you need to start, except for that one. My favorite one. This is my I don't know if I should call it Franken blower because what's different about this thing uh, I'm not sure the year of the actual blower the the specs are underneath here but but this one has a bunch of parts from a, a 2016 one that quit working that I used to have so I took all the good parts off of it, like the like the other side of this handle, I wired a kill switch, and I took the pole starter and the flat tube from it, and I took the air cleaner system off of it too. But, but this one's also unique because I rigged up a little knife in there so I could shred loose with this thing too. So we, we kind of have two shredder backs now. <laughs> I don't know, but this one does not have easy to start, so I'll put it on the tripod. Yeah. So same as the other ones. This is the blower I use the most. That's why I say it's my favorite one. kill switch actually works which is very nice all right so here we have a 2018 BG56C uh, not much different on this one except this one runs a little bit better than that one does and I got this I got this last year my dad gave me this one just to keep as a backup so so I'm just going to get you on the tripod and start it real quick.
because all my blowers are pretty much the same. Choke it, prime it. This one is the same thing. This one's a 2015 one, so it's been six years old now. I was just using this one today to to blow off my walks earlier, so this should be an easy start. <laughs> This one runs very, very well. All right, on with onto the trimmers. Okay, so the first trimmer. Here's my steel FS 130R. My grandpa gave me this about two or three years ago because he had no need for it, and and I love steels. So last month I put a speed feed head on this. They used to have an auto cut, but I put that auto cut on the FS94, and this one's head is up there. It's pretty worn down, so, so I decided to change it. All right, you may not believe this, but this trimmer is actually from 2005. I didn't even know they made them that early. So, let's see if this one will run. This one gave me some trouble last year. There were a couple times where it flooded itself for no reason and it would start leaking gas everywhere. I eh, guess it's just old. It is going to be 16 years old this year. So, so on, choke it, prime it. Alright. Now with the trimmer this old, you might have to hold the, it's a good idea to hold the throttle down when you're starting it. it for that one and now let's do the 94 neck all right so here is a 2014 steel FS 94 R that I put my trimmers old head on because the original head for this one's pretty worn down this is the trimmer my brother uses when we go out to mow lawns and he loves this thing so so this is a 2014, so 14 was the first year that these came out. This one was built in May 2014. So let's start this one. So, so the kill switch is just a button. It's just a button here. We have to just choke it. And then I put a new primer on this this year. And it's working okay. 
So in order to actually get gas in it, you have to kind of tilt the trimmer on its side. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Right, let's, see. let's see if I can get this one going. This one will start. Probably need some carburetor work. Probably some carb cleaning. Alright, next one. Okay, so this one is a 2016 steel FS70R. It's not an RC. I think they they quit using the easy to start system on this. I don't know when they quit using it, but I don't really have a problem with it. Well, this trimmer is in pretty good condition. It, I've barely used it. It's barely been used. It's been used mainly as a backup trimmer. If either the 130 or the 94 isn't working. But this one works very, very well. Let's start this one. Let's choke it. And primer's up here. And do some pushes. All right. This one does not have easy to start, but it's just as easy to pull. Because this is a flexible cable shaft uh, sometimes the sometimes the head kind of wobbles a little bit when you put it at full throttle on this trimmer but that's not a problem I don't use this trimmer enough to really care that much so all right let's do my edger all right so last thing we're gonna start here this is my steel FC 56 edger You've only seen this thing in action one time on my five years later mowing my front yard video, which I did last year. So I'll make a couple videos featuring this thing at some point. But but same same thing as the same engine as the 70, except except the color scheme is backwards, and this one does have easy to start. All right, so let's get this one going. We're going to choke it. And I put a new primer on this for no reason. I don't know, I was just taking it apart. Just taking it apart to, in case this thing breaks, maybe a, in case this thing breaks, I would know how to fix it. But I took it apart, I put a new primer on it for no reason, but it's working good. So start this one. I'm gonna put it back do it for all my steel equipment so 
stay tuned or whenever I get some more unleaded gas, I'll start the X marks. You know what? Since you know what? Since you've never seen this thing actually running, I'll start the snow blower up real quick. So this is my 2017 Troy Belt Storm 2410 snow blower that I got from my grandma. She gave it to me. And I've used this thing about six times. Used it today and two weeks ago we got a bunch of snow down here and I used it a lot. But but it's a nice machine. It's it is a residential machine. Like so it's got like a crank. It's got a crank and you have to reach down here and move the chute. You know. But it is a two stage. It is a two stage and this thing blows snow pretty far too. So let's start this thing up. We're gonna throw it some throttle. Put it on a choke. Prime it a few times. Make sure the key is in. And here we go. Let's start this thing up. There you go. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm in kind of, somehow I'm in a really good mood today. So, so I'll also start my mini bike here. A Coleman CT200U. Very muddy because, because I, because I, I took it out in the mud a few days ago. But let's switch it on. Just choke it. And here we go. It runs very well. I need a new front tire on this though. I'm not warm this one now. Now I'm going to end the video, so stay tuned for when I start up the two, the lawnmowers, the two X marks, the two commercial 21s, I'll start the Viking, and I'll bring the Cup Cadet over here, and I'll start that too, so bye bye now.